In Kenya, the two sites of Kakuma Refugee Camp and Kalobaye Integrated Settlement have hosted refugees from over 10 nationalities, mainly South Sudanese and Ethiopians, since 1992. The refugees and host communities live in rural areas. And they depend on natural resources for most of their daily activities. Collecting fuel wood for cooking. Growing crops and keeping livestock. But these same natural resources are more and more under pressure, leading to landscape degradation and depletion of tree resources. This has led to conflicts with the predominantly pastoral Turkana communities. The Guidance for a Landscape Approach in Displacement Setting, or GLADS, is an initiative by SeaCor ECRAF and Partners to better understand and facilitate collaboration in refugee hosting landscapes, including this area of Kakuma Refugee Camp. We started really looking at uh, wood fuel use in refugee settings. That was really the entry point for this, for this study to say, how do we then come up with guidelines or guidance notes of integrated landscape approaches in refugee settings. So the guidance notes that we're developing is really a tool that can facilitate that kind of platform, that kind of engagement at, at that level to say, let's come together, plan together, even if we will implement in our own mandates, in our own sector, but we are developing the same vision and working towards the same vision at, at landscape level. A shared understanding of the displacement setting landscape is a first step in dealing with complexities and the multiple functions within the landscape. To understand new social relations between host communities and other stakeholders and their use of resources. With pressure on the surrounding natural resources, Refugees are now often competing with host communities to access fuel wood or water. Another challenge you have is uh, resources in terms of water. Uh, we, we are on marginal land and yet we host so large population. Competing with the host community also number 240,000. So we have an umbrella we call uh, Kalbeyeyi Social Economic and Development Plan, a 15-year plan, and it's not only an area of three by five square kilometers, it's targeting the whole sub-county, which is an area of 120 square kilometers. The second step is to start creating a common vision based on how stakeholders envision social, economic, and social sustainability within the landscape. We basically provide them with the farm inputs, uh, which includes uh, uh, the tools to be able to, to use as the, uh, for home garden, and also seeds. Uh, but again, we also build their knowledge on uh, how they can be able to uh, produce more seeds from their household level. There are also coordination mechanisms, mechanisms that have been put in place is KISDEP, which is Kalobeye Integrated Socioeconomic Development uh, Plan. This is a very vibrant coordination structure that does not only identify the sectors of humanity for the well-being of the refugees, but also maps, partners, their resources, their expertise and capabilities that they can be able to bring in to support refugees have a better living in their own settings.
Actions within refugee hosting landscapes means working across sectors, geographic and socioeconomic boundaries, and addressing longer-term need involving both refugees and host communities. In this project, we are also looking at uh, sustainability. Sustainability from the uh, socio-economic and ecological uh, perspectives. So we are looking at this uh, refugee context landscape uh, and looking at it in ways that we can improve the socio-ecological systems. We are also working with refugees and host communities because this landscape has uh, multifunctions. We want to have refugees that are able to build their capacities strongly and they can be able to sustain their ways of living. Sustainability is linked to resources that can be able to, to put long-term structures in place. And so with the funding, increase, increase in resource allocation, for example, land, and then improvement of services delivery, we will be strengthening the sustainability aspect of the displaced setting. Development agencies and government agencies in the area are working with communities for better sustainability within the area. They are being involved in improved use of cooking energy and in tree planting to restore tree cover and to provide for firewood and fodder. One of the interventions Scout is doing is uh, implementing the existing policies and, where necessary, formulation of new policies to address specific issues. Speaking on an environmental perspective, we have uh, Environmental Management and Coordination Act, which was, uh, which was uh, brought in place in 1999 and then edited or amended in 2015. That, that is one of the instruments the current government is working, is using to address a number of challenges uh, facing our environment. Non-biodegradable materials are being recycled for new products and economic activities. Continuous learning on these initiatives will help to follow closely what works and what needs to be improved in this refugee hosting area. In the guidance notes, we propose three key steps that would lead to effective and participatory monitoring, evaluation, and learning uh, platforms. One, we propose that we need to establish um, a landscape monitoring tool and this landscape monitoring tool should have uh, clear objectives, uh, clear protocols, and indicators that can be measured. Secondly, we, we believe that this need to conduct baseline to establish the baseline conditions through conducting research on socio-economic and environmental factors within the refugee landscapes. And lastly, the, there's need also to allocate uh, resources, both human and financial resources, because undertaking M&D is involving and needs um, different skills and money to undertake. And what we do was to access the new arrivals we go and look for. For new arrival kids who are not yet registered with the UN, so that they can get the services from the UN. The hydroponic was a, a pilot project by Mirama in collaboration with CIZ. So we, we don't need to plant our veggies in the soil, we plant in a trough whereby we can feed them with nutrients. Empowering women, men, youth, and vulnerable groups to participate helps to create more equitable outcomes. 
gender is integrated in the response to increased environmental degradation and promotion of alternative energy sources in refugee hosting districts, Kakuma Refugee Camp, and Kalobaye Integrated Settlement. Women are being empowered to participate in decision-making and training for their increased participation in planning for environmental protection, forest restoration, improved sustainable energy, and alternative livelihoods. Nime soma grade 3, nika maliza. Nilipo maliza, nika pata kazi ya kusomesha chile ambacho nime soma. Nika wa mwarimu. Vile ambacho nimekuwa mwarimu, Sikia sasa skills imeenda inaongezeka. Wakaleta kusoma grade 2. Hapo niko mwalimu alafu ninasoma. Na mshala inaingia alafu skizi nyingine inaingia. GLAD's initiative guides stakeholders in building context-relevant understanding inclusive approaches, continuous learning, and outcomes towards sustainability and resilience in refugee hosting or displacement settings.